confused really but we believe that what is going on is just uh, land grabbing going on because we bought lands in this place from the original uh, family the Olufumi family that uh, owns this area right from the other the KBSC himself KBSC Olufumi and then um, we have not had any issues with anybody in this area. But uh, sometime, not too long ago, uh, some people came here claiming that, uh, writing on the walls, claiming that they had a Supreme Court judgment or whatever, which we are not aware of. And they were act actually chased away. When we found out that they were land grabbers, they came with dogs and all of that, and they went away. So. We thought that was it. Eventually, uh, we got information again that another, whether it was the original group or not, we don't know, one partial properties owned by one uh, corner or general, the RIS. And the Community Development Association had to go into negotiations with that uh, company on what to do to settle whatever it is that was a rift, if there was any, between them and the family that uh, sold land to everyone here. And they were making progress to the point of trying to determine how much each person was going to pay as compensation because those ones were claiming they had an original agrixy of O covering the area. Uh, so they were in that process before suddenly on Friday, we saw trucks of uh, uh, policemen and uh, armed policemen and uh, bulldozers moving to the area without any notification to anybody and began to break people's houses and homes everywhere. Many people who were living in their houses were suddenly thrown out, out of their houses and they had to sleep right on the streets. Through the night of, of that, between Friday and Saturday, the rain fell. Most of the people were outside when that rain was falling in the middle of the night. And that demolition has continued up till this time and it still continues. We still, at this point, we still don't understand who is behind this and what is going on. What are authorities telling you the guys on ground who are leading uh, the demolition? They are claiming that it is from uh, Lapska. We have not been, we have not been, uh, nothing has been explained to us on why uh, Lapska is uh, going through this because we know even if you say people constructed without a permit that there are processes of uh, integrity tests that can be conducted to confirm whether the buildings are sound or not and then there are penalties for people who have constructed maybe without permit to pay penalties to government and then you let their properties be in these difficult times how can somebody you know choose this alternative as a better alternative breaking down Buildings, nine flats. You know, there are so many people without houses in Nigeria now, and you are trying to throw more people into the same uh, uh, under the same pressure. And this is this is just not acceptable. Well, what What is the plan of the Estes Association? I know you said there was a negotiation at some point, but again, now that this is happening, what is their next line of action? They are still they are still open and willing to, you know, negotiate with whoever was is, is supposed to be uh, involved in this and uh, they, they've been talking to everybody including the KBC himself who is also as lost as everybody we hear he, he went out to go and find out what actually is going on because he too has come around to come and ask them to stop and they didn't listen to him 